read. I can't see him. Um, I know that he's safe, but I'm still too afraid of male people to um, come out and talk to him. So, like I said, I, I do read aloud, but I'm not able to see him or really register that he's there. I just, I know that he's there, but like, I'm kind of in a, like a, a dark space inside where he's just blocked out. And so that um, makes it possible for me to do that without really actually like being out in the body, if that makes any sense. Um, Katie's suggesting that I clarify that a lot of what I'm talking about um, has to do with us being polyfragmented. And no, Katie's talking through another altar. That's why it goes, we, you know, and all this other bullshit. I captured these maybe a year ago when Katie herself decided, I'm going to dox my parents. Now, you'd be hard-pressed to find this shit on the internet now. But, of course, as soon as she did, I jumped on this fucking shit and copied it, and then I downloaded the motherfucker. And it's been a long time, and I'm like, you know, her father is a psychologist. You know, probably her handler, her agent, whatever, helping to train her in the right language to speak while she talks her bullshit. And uh, here it is, so let's just watch... The stuff in here. This is not going to be a long video, maybe five minutes or so. Um, not everyone who watches this um, channel may really understand what that means. So she wants y'all to know that we're going to put a link to an article about polyfragmented DID in the description. And also a link to some testimonies that we made about it. Um, specifically our version of it uh, called exponential fragmentation that um, those who are unfamiliar with all this um, can go to in order to understand better if that's something that you want to do. So, um, yeah, um, I've been blocking out the night. Since our channel started getting a lot of attention. We've gone from about 200 subscribers to almost 10,000 within about a month, I think. And um, it's really brought up a lot, especially because not everything that everybody has to say is kind. But we've been doing a tremendous amount of deprogramming around the stuff that's gotten activated by things that perpetrators have said in the comments and left in emails. And it's it finally feels like it's starting to fade. The conditioning that says that everything those people say must be true. This is a very horrible program that a lot of mind control victims go through. We survivors of mind control, specifically trauma-based mind control, are often told that everything our abusers say is true. And when a person is hypnotized, it can be very hard to think critically and discern that, no, not everything they say is actually necessarily true. When a person believes this, that everything the cult says is true, it means that individual cult members, and even single members, can make up whatever they want, and specifically say things that contradict other things that have been said. You mean like you, Katie? You could just say whatever you want with no proof, contradict yourself constantly? Come on, snap out of it, dear. It's okay. Snap out of it. To the point where the person endures so much cognitive dissonance that they are forced to dissociatively split. And this is a huge foundation for mind control programming. And I don't want to go into it too much right now because it's traumatizing for me. But if people want to know more about it, they can perhaps leave a comment or an email and I'll get back to them about it when I'm more able. So, in deprogramming this, I have found myself coming in contact with a lot of dissociated parts that I myself didn't know were here. And I'm specifically coming in contact with Katie's system, which was a system that was very foreign to me. I bet it was. 
I bet it was. Well, this page you'd be hard pressed to find too. It's been shrunk down, a lot of stuff has been removed from this page now. Puts, she throws mommy right under the bus. I mean, I'll have to do this myself so you can I can read it. You'll have to pause it throughout so you can read it. It's quite a fuck it's quite a career. If it's true, that probably is true because all this a lot of this shit has been whacked. Again, I just want, you can not, like pause it throughout, but I want to make sure it's up long enough so people can pause it and then read whatever they want to. Busy teenager, doesn't say daughter or son or nothing. Just This is the only mention. The only mention. Of any child. With their busy teenager. So it doesn't even say Katie the whack job or anything like that, so you don't even know. Just that it's the same name. But Katie herself put this stuff up on her page. That's when I copied it. So. That's all I want to do is just put out daddy and mommy because she did it herself. And I'm going to bump it to the top so people can see this whack job, how she, you know, just throws her parents under the bus, I guess. Who knows? No one even really knows. It's just she, this, this woman is just full of shit, man. Anyways, decide for yourself. Because I already, I have. I've watched plenty of videos, made plenty of videos about her. I got them all on a memory stick. Because, you know, she takes her shit, she de she deletes parts of her shit, and then acts like she's left all her stuff up, and she hasn't. She's kind of full of shit that way. Well, there it is.